Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 31st of August 2025, I hope you are keeping well and that you had a good night's sleep. Uh, I woke up several times, I'm not feeling that great this morning, but uh, that's, I've just got out of bed and got straight into the <laughs> straight into the Sudoku chair to play this game with you on the grounds that it might make me feel a bit better, you know, talking to you, chatting to you and... Uh, um, playing a game of Sudoku which takes my mind off of any uh, worries and concerns that are in the back of my mind. Shall we play a game of Sudoku from the El Pais Expert Level Puzzle? Yes, why not? And uh, also mention some possible good news from a news story um, about a, a drug. Now, I'm always um, rather reticent about talking about medical um, breakthroughs on here because uh, mostly when you what you see in the regular press um, is hmm, uh, sometimes hyped uh, let's say but anyway there's some possible you know we, 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 we can't take everything as as, as absolutely um, gospel but we will take uh, some in some um, figures that have given and say that they are quite good the drug is for people who suffer from uh, hypertension um, and that's a, a serious issue across the world, uh, large numbers of people, possibly more than 1.3 billion people. That's such a huge number. So it's good if there is something. And many people have shown some resistance to, to, to the medicines that are given uh, at the moment. And so there's this new drug called Baxtrostat. Uh, apparently, uh, which has had a test sample of 796 in 214 different clinics across the world. Uh, a 12-week study showing that uh, the blood pressure did fall by a reasonable amount. Um, uh, and the test, it was tested against placebo. And uh, according to the study, 4 in 10 patients taking the drug uh, once a day reached healthy blood pressure levels compared with fewer than 2 in 10 on placebo. Uh, so that does look uh, promising. Um, and that's all we should say at this point. It's looking promising. Can't say it's, you know, something is definitely clearly uh, a winner until it's been in the market and uh, proven over several years. But anyway, some good news there. Let's go on with our game of Sudoku, shall we? What can we see? We're going to start with digit six. This is the expert level puzzle from El Pais. Sometimes a tricky one, sometimes less so, as with all the games that we play on this channel. Eight blocks down here, down there. You may have to make allowances for the fact that I've really just got up, really just woken up after falling asleep several times. And, uh, seven across here, seven across there. There's a seven. Probably should have had a cup of tea before beginning, but nope. Straight into it. My mouth feels dry now. <laughs> Well, we do have a pair, five blocks down here. So five is in one of those two. Oh, so five, oh, sorry, five blocks up there, I should say. Five, two blocks down here. So two is in one of those squares there, blocking back up there and obviously blocking there. Oh, no, no, uh, yes. Sorry, the fives will block that go here or here will block that square there. So we have a pair of two and five in those squares there. Now three blocks across there, that's gonna give us three there. We know that this is two and five. And so these squares have to be one and four. So 4 being in one of these two squares blocks across here, 4 going up there will give us 4 in one of those two squares blocking down here. 4 blocking down here, 4 across there means that that's a 4. 4 across here, across there means that that's a 4 as well.
Uh, since we know that this is 2 and 5, we should work out what goes here, shouldn't we? Uh, that's 3, 8 and 9. And does it do much? Yeah. Uh, no, actually nothing that we need to see because we've got 9s already uh, blocking like this. So there's our 9. We also have 8 blocking down here and across there there's an 8. 2 blocking down here there's a 2. 5 and 6 are the numbers left there. 6 blocking there. There's the 6. There's the 5. Now, I said that this was 1 and 4. If you remember, we had 2, 5 in those squares there. We have 1 and 4 here. Now, I see 1 and 4 blocking there, so that means that 1 and 4 must be in that square and that square, and this is the other number that is not 1 or 4. What is it? 7. 7 down here, 7 up there, 7 across there, there's our 7. 7 blocking across here, across there, down there, there's a 7. And it looks like 7 is going to be our first victim of the day. Yep, goodbye digit 7. Right, goodbye Mr. Chips. Now about this 1 and 4, we had 1 and 4 in that square, in those two squares if you remember. And now the um, one point about 1 and 4 that I mentioned before, blocking here, means that that's 1 and 4. These two squares have to be 1 and 4. And this can't be 1 or 4. Uh, so what's the other number in this column? Uh, 6. Okay. 6 blocking across here, across there and down there. And 6 down here, across there, across there. I can hear the cat kicking up his cat litter. No pro no real reason. He hasn't done anything in the box. He will have to go to the hospital again for his weekly treatment today. I didn't take him yesterday. Uh, we'll see how it gets on there. Later today. One blocks across here and across there. And there's our digit one. We can get this, can't we? All we have to do is work out what goes there. That is, in fact, two and five. And so this is not two or five, it's a three. Three blocks down here and across there. There's our three. There's one more digit to go in this row. I think it's a five. Ah, one blocks up here. And if you remember, we had one and four in those squares blocking across now. So there's our one. One down here, or one up there, or one across there, there's a one. One across here, one up there, there's one. One up here, remember we had one and four there, so that's the one, that's the four now. Uh, how about those digit ones? One across, one across, one up there, or one up there. Now defunct. 
And how about those digit fours anymore? Uh, well, we've got four blocking up here, so it'll give us four in that square. Let's just go clicking around, I think, see if we can find anything useful. Three up, three down, there's a three. Three blocking across there, three up there, here's a three, three this way. And that way, and there's a three. Eight blocks across here, there's the eight, the last number to go in is nine. I can hear the sounds of Little Ben chiming, that's my neighbor's grandfather clock. Uh, four blocks this square here, but we need a four in this row, so it must go there, and back will come to put in the two. Two blocking down there, there's the two, and the last number there's an eight. Eight blocking up here across there, there's an eight. And eight going up here. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Put in the eight there, and that's the final digit. Eight. Uh, the last number for this column looks to be a nine. This looks to be a five. Five blocks across there, there's our five. Uh, nine blocking up here, there's the nine, the last number there's a two. Not much more to go now, just a few little touches to finish off. Nine blocks this square, we don't have nine in this column, it must go there. And we'll say nine across there and across there will give us the final digit. Nine back down here to say you are a two and you are a five. And then five blocks up here and across there, so give us five in that square. One more number left to get there. Are you a four? I believe you're a four. Four blocks across there, that's a four. Missing number there's two. And two back that way, there's two. And to go in here, we need a three. That's a two. This is a five. Well, that was not much hard work, was it? Uh, but that's kind of warmed me up for the day, taken my mind off of anything, uh, anything that's in, uh, you know, like some kind of any uh, worries or anything, and I'm feeling rather better for playing Sudoku. There we are. Sudoku has a, uh, a nice health-giving uh, effect. Take Concentrate your mind on something else. Take care. Bye-bye.